Okay, so I will explain you uh, uh, how to dump uh, Windows 32. It's not, it's not nothing new. It's just uh, some tips to do it quickly. Uh, I will assume many things so that I can do it quickly. I don't have enough time. So let's move to this. Okay, I have uh, this uh, binary. This binary uh, is encoded uh, or encrypted, whatever. And uh, if you execute it, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to create any network traffic. Just don't do anything. It's not going to show you any details. And also, if um, if you try to open it with uh, IDA, you can you will see that it has many different imports. Uh, trying to uh, confuse the reverser by thinking that it is something normal. It is not a malicious uh, malware. Uh, you can see that the blue color, which is the code section, is really small. That's a really good clue that this is something weird. You can see that it has like user 32, kernel 32, GDI, calls, but nothing malicious. But at the same time, you don't have anything to analyze here. It's like, it is normal. It's not malicious. Okay, so also finally, I, I, I want to show you quickly that um, this one, let me show you the sections. It has multiple sections, as you saw in the presentation. And which is also another clue that this is something not normal. And those multiple sections are just to help in the, the obfuscation phase. Come on. Okay, so let's move to the uh, dumping phase. So we open our... My God. So we open our binary. It detects, uh, all it detects that this is something that could be encrypted. Okay, we know that. Okay, so then uh, we move to our technique. The, our first technique is to use the Virtual Protect API, which is used to change the permissions of memory pages. And that's usually done by the malware so that it can change to write permissions at runtime, and then it can overwrite that page with the obfuscated code, which is the malware. So we just uh, obviously list the names which are the imports and exports and then we search for virtual protect and we set up right pointer we are done then we run it so we get to the first one the first one is trying to um change the permissions of these to read write and uh, to the section so we move to that section uh, by following in dump and this 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 section is something which is uh looks like a section which is just used to calculate stuff but this is not um, there is no binary here loaded at, at least not right now so let's move to the to the next one the next one is this 36 so we dump it in our memory and this one is clean which means is something is going to be written here so let's try to see what is here we click f9 to go to the end and then we start jumping here to see what's here. Let me ask all the work to analyze this because it looks like gibberish code, but it's not. Okay, so we keep moving forward. And then here is going to take this jump, which is going back. Then this seems to be a loop. So we just put a software breakpoint here and run it. And then, as you can see here, a binary was loaded here. So that's good clue. So, but first of all, let me let me explain this. I will right away remove the software breakpoint from here because this software breakpoint is uh, the CCX decimal, and uh, for polymorphic malware, which, which is this case, uh, if you leave with the software breakpoint, uh, and if, if in some point of time later, if this specific section has to be changed by malware, it will be uh, changed. 
uh, by changing the CC. I mean, is, they are gonna uh, they are gonna, they are going to apply uh, the encoded function and get against the CC code instead of the original one, and that can spoil also your reversing because that can lead to new instructions or different instructions. So th that was just quickly. So now we have here this binary. This binary has many different uh, sections, but we can see here that those sections are the ones that we already know. Those sections are the ones from the original one, which means here they are just loading the original malware into this uh, specific memory space. So we don't care about this one. We move to the next one. The next one is this 40. We follow it in dump. And then this is also another one. This is another one, a good one. And then, as we can see here, uh, it is also the same binary is not the one that we are looking for yet okay so but now in this case uh, since this is located exactly in the same entry point where the image was loaded and this is a common way for the malware to just overwrite and runtime the same location so I will put just a breakpoint here which is a hardware breakpoint so that all the debug lets me know when the malware is trying to write something here if that's the case. So then I will run it again, the virtual protect to check the next one. The next space, memory space is this following dump. This is also not a binary, so I don't care. And then the next one is 40 again. But still has the same sections. So we are, as, as you are seeing, we're identifying all the pages being loaded and changed because by the virtual protect there was uh, sometimes a virtual a lot also call uh, okay so we keep moving and suddenly we hit our hardware breakpoint which means someone was trying to write something here so let's check what is our e point it is here this means this means that uh, the EDX value, which is this, was copied where EAX is pointing to, which is 40. So that's why you can see here that they copy 45A90. Okay, so now that we know this, I need to know if this is something that is gonna be changed or maybe they are just writing the same stuff. And also, I wanna know where is the source of this thing. I mean, where they are copying this information from, okay? So, if we just look here, we can see that they are copying the information where ECX is pointing to, which is this memory space, and then they are copying it to EDX, and then from EDX to EAX. So now we can see here right away that is something coming from ECX. I will put a breakpoint here just to step right uh, right before something is going to be changed and then let's move you can see here that in this window that the, the binary is going to start changing and you can see also here that ECX is moving the same as EAX which means they are copying exactly the same bytes as, as they are moving and then we can see here that suddenly the P header is being changed. And at the end, and the point that I, I want to get is check these current sections. Okay, the malware is going to start changing them. And at the end, the malware will only create three sections, as you can see here. They just remove everything, everything. And they just get these three sections. So definitely, this is a new binary in memory. So we will try to dump it and see if that's what we are looking for. So I just remove this F2. And then I will move to this section where this all information is coming from. And there it is. We have this binary, which has also the expected sections, which is which are those three. But also, it has the whole information which is what we need so then we will dump this by there are many ways to do this but this is an easiest one so we just say save data to file 
and then we change this to XC and we call this apofes dump and we save it okay now let's see if this is some if this if this shows something that we are expecting so we I just open it just to confirm that this has all those three sections only that we already detected which looks good and then I will open it via IDA to see if we now have more information now you can see by loading it immediately that the code section which is the blue color is really 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 extended not the small one that we got before that's a really good clue that we are getting code decoded what we were looking for so what if we go to the imports we can see that now we have many other libraries and actually we have the ones that we really need you can see that we have the socket library load which is obviously to listen you know to listen for local shells or to connect remotely and everything done with sockets and also it has the win in it which is which is also very useful and when they want to read information from internet essentially obviously to connect to malicious sites and dump information to do the second phase uh, exploitation so definitely this is what we were looking for this confirms that now the malware has been decoded from memory which is what we were expecting and uh, I think that's the all now now what we need to do is we need to concentrate on the reversing of this code not reversing the obfuscation method in this binary we need to focus on understanding now this decoded function and here is where we can come up with a zero days discovery or any other malicious code and now following the same strategy we don't know what is this we don't know what the obfuscation method but since the output of this is a malicious malware then in an automated way we can flag this as malicious too and we are done we can update our signatures do whatever we need to stop the threat right away thank you